Hi, I am Shruti. Now you are watching my YouTube channel Shruti Swama World. Today, I am going to teach you a new topic, an interesting topic that is steam jacketed kettle. Steam jacketed kettle is also known as evaporating pan. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this one. Now, let's move on to the topic. We are going to focus the principal construction, working, uses, merits and demerits of an evaporating pan. Let's see the principle of steam jacketed kettle. First of all, we have to place the sample inside the kettle or inside the steam jacketed kettle. Then we have to apply steam by conduction and convection mechanism. The material which is present inside the kettle absorb heat from the steam. And then the solvent which is present in the aqueous extract starts to evaporate. Finally, we get the concentrated product at the bottom of the kettle and we can simply collect that through the concentrated product outlet. So here the heat transfer mechanism is conduction and convection. So this is a simple principle that is involved in steam jacketed kettle. Now let's talk about the construction of a steam jacketed kettle. It is having a hemispherical body. And it consists of two pan. One is inner pan and the other one is outer pan. The inner pan is enveloped with this outer pan. Okay. The inner pan that is known as kettle. And the outer pan is known as jacket. In between this two pan, there will be a free space through which steam is introduced. And the steam jacketed kettle also consists of vent when for removing non-condensed gas and it also consists of a condensate outlet and a concentrated product outlet condensate outlet for removing the condensed steam concentrate outlet for discharging the residue discharging the concentrated liquid residue from the kettle so these are the important parts that is present in a steam jacketed kettle I repeat, steam jacketed kettle is having a hemispherical body. You can see that in this figure, steam jacketed kettle is having a hemispherical body and it consists of two pan. One is inner pan which is known as kettle and the other one is outer pan which is known as jacket. The inner pan is enveloped with this jacket. Okay, that is clearly visible in this figure. And in between this two pan, in between this jacket and kettle, there will be a free space. Okay, through this space, steam is introduced. Steam is introduced into the jacket through the space. And so it also consists of a steam inlet and a vent when for removing non-condensed gas and it also consists of, consists of an outlet for condensate the condensed steam is removed through this outlet and it also consists of a concentrated product outlet for removing the concentrated residue from the kettle so these are the important parts that is present in a steam jacketed kettle Working of evaporating pan or steam jacketed kettle is very easy. The, the materials to be evaporated is placed inside the kettle. Steam is introduced through the steam inlet. Steam gives out its heat to the condense which is present in the kettle. And then condensate is leaves through the condensate outlet. The materials which is present inside the kettle that absorb heat from the steam by conduction and convection mechanism and the solvent present in the material that starts to evaporate. Finally, we get the liquid residue at the bottom of the jacket. We can collect that residue through the concentrated product outlet. This is a simple uh, working procedure that is involved in a steam jacketed kettle. Now let's see the requirements of a steam jacketed kettle. 
if you are using very small uh, volume of sample uh, then you can stir the sample using a simple stirrer but if you are using higher volume then you should take a mechanical stirrer for the stirring purpose and you should provide good ventilation and also you should fit a fan over the pan to remove the vapor and also to prevent the condensation of this vapor so, okay there are two types of kettles one is fixed kettle and the other one is tilting type kettle tilting type kettle means you can remove the concentrated residue simply by tilting the kettle but this type of kettle can only uh, allow up to the level of up to the capacity of 90 liters only above this limit you should use fixed kettle steam jacketed kettle is mainly used for concentrating aqueous and thermostable liquids example liquorice extract now let's see the advantages of steam jacketed kettle it is very easy to construct very very easy to operate clean and maintain the installation cost and maintenance cost is low as compared to other type of evaporators and we can use wide variety of materials for the construction of steam jacketed kettle for example we can use copper stainless steel and aluminium for the construction of steam jacketed kettle so these are the important advantages of steam jacketed kettle disadvantages heat sensitive materials uh, we cannot handle using steam jacketed kettle because uh, lo long time uh, heat exposure will uh, cause the degradation of heat sensitive materials or active ingredients the heating area decreases as the products gets more and more concentrated so these are the two disadvantages of a steam jacketed kettle thank you for watching if you like this video remember to subscribe and hit the like button before you go watch my next video thank you